Mr. Oh, ma'am. No, ma'am, I won't lift anything heavy, ma'am. <laughs> oh, ma'am, turn the television off. There's nothing on at 7 o'clock in the morning. Good morning, Eddie Brindon. Oh, <laughs> Why are you always so tired after a night in bed? <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm sorry. The hell are they? Girls. What sort of girls? Gwyneth Alwyn and Bloodwin girls. <laughs> Why, hell? You forgot your jelly babies. And your clean handkerchief. And your beano. <laughs> oh. Grow up. And your mum says, don't lift nothing heavy. And don't get your hands dirty. And don't listen to no bad language. Ta-ta. They're my cousins from Everestwith. They're staying at our house for a fortnight, having a week's holiday. Again, <laughs> fortnight's holiday. So... Yeah, well, they're very nice. Stick them on your mantelpiece, they'd make a belting set of Toby jugs. <laughs> We're in for a rough week this week, Gary. Bloody Delilah's got a time and motion expert coming in. Just because the waterworks had one last year and their inspector got an MBE in the New Year's honours, I suppose Bloody Delilah's ought to be made day with the British Empire. <laughs> so keep your flaming wits about you. I'm sorry, heavy breathing, will you sit? Oh, Peck! <laughs> <laughs> What's she up to? Checking up whether Tom and Motion Pig's got to his late. He's lucky. If anybody tries Tom and Motion in me, I'll motion my piggy boot in the fat face. <laughs> I'll just move all the labour. Go over and get me a doubt. Yes, sir. Oh, no, 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 sir. Please convey my heartiest congratulations to your wife, sir. <laughs> Bad news, I hope. I don't want the multitude to hear, but the town hall can't send us an efficiency expert. Hallelujah! <laughs> You'll have to get double glazing. But our engineer says I can't afford one. I had to sack 17 people to pay for the last one. Anyway, his wife's going to be in the New Year's Honours list for making a bust of the Queen Mother out of spaghetti hoops and mashed potato. <laughs> he suggests we perpetrate our own time and motion study, but... But who, who could possibly do it? I mean... I've got all this to do. See, we, we have got one stopwatch and, and one notebook, one free-flow ballpoint pen. All we're short of is one efficiency expert. Or are we? I couldn't be it. Of course you could. I couldn't be anything. I haven't got no teeth. <laughs> You You've got a very beautiful nose, cheese and egg. <laughs> you all are. Everybody's got beautiful noses. And earlobes and Adam's apples. And the world is a very beautiful place. And that's a very beautiful dustbin. <laughs> and it's full of beautiful mocks of get it bloody emptied. <laughs> I didn't know you could sing so lovely. Can you do your tiny hand is frozen, so let me warm it into life? <laughs> oh, don't cry, Winston. I'm not. Your nose is. That's big in sweat, you stupid get. And that's swearing. <laughs> poetry. You see, all that's required, <coughs> all that's required of you is to observe each gang at work and ascertain if they're really working. No. And to uh, tell the truth. Never. <laughs> Have a cigarette. Not for 20. I'll take 30. What you're really asking me to do is to tell tales on my own mates, aren't you? <coughs> to spy on cheese and egg. To stab number three gang in the back. Yes. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> oh. Eric! Stop 
bald in that disgusting thing in your hand and listen to me. <laughs> noses are very beautiful. Even more beautiful than noses. And earlobes. It's a bloody chrysanthemum. It's nature's own creation. It's big in plastic. It's nature's own plastic creation. <laughs> Hello, Winston. Hello. Hello. I've been talking to you ever since the rosy-fingered dawn crept over the chimney pots and tripped buttock over elbow down the pigging drain pot. <laughs> Jesus, I want you. We all want someone, Winston. But does someone want us? That's the answer. Again? Question. Duh. Oh, don't apologize, Winston. You're only human. We all are. Like pussycats. Like what? Pussycats. And bala. All right. Pussycats was enough. Listen, Nolly, if you don't get your finger out, you'll be on the dole. And your mum'll have to take back the telly and you'll never see Brian Inglis again. It took more than a to make him eat as a child. When he put him in the school milk in Wales, they made his head all green and soggy. Now move! Pick up that, carry it to the wagon, and empty it. And bunny rabbits. Eh? Bunny rabbits, pussy cats, and barlams. <laughs> Jane Gunn. At 9.15 a.m., Eric was sent to collect Ben. 10 o'clock, actually picked it up. 10 one, emptied it through Mrs. 15 Sheba Street's kitchen window onto Mrs. 15 Sheba Street's head. 10 two, was clattered across the air by cheese and egg and said he was taking the afternoon off to... to play the harp while dancing naked in a sunlit garden. <laughs> I therefore recommend you give him the sack. Yes, well, I should. Well, thank you, Ibbotson. I had to tell the truth, sir. You saw it was your duty. Correct. To improve the efficiency of this depot. Correct. And to uphold the dignity and the honor of your chosen profession. Correct. You remember you offered me two bottles of brown ale a day to do this job? Yes. Cheese and egg offered me three not to do it. Can you make it six? <laughs> Now do you remember how to do it? Yes, thank you. Right, let him go. <laughs> what the hell's up with you? In accordance with trade union practice, shall I kick him while he's down? Hey, hang on. <laughs> Why are you crying, Eric? <laughs> because I feel so happy. Why are you laughing? <laughs> because I feel so miserable. <laughs> That's it. What? Women do that whenever they're with me. The dirty pig. He's in love. I'm not dirty. It's pure love. I just want to hold her hand and worship her from afar. Not at the same time. It's physically bloody impossible. She might have long arms. And I want to climb Ben Nevis for her and catch some beams in a carrier bag and sprinkle them over her head and learn the alphabet properly so I can write her name in the sand and watch the restless tide wash it away. And I want to sit her on a throne on a white fluffy cloud and lie down at her feet and die. We'd all be exceeding grateful. Harry, the job's at stake. Women are the shop stewards of the devil. She's an angel. She'll never leave you alone. Look at me! You wouldn't think I was only 15, would you? She's a goddess. No woman's a goddess. Your master's wife probably comes fairly close. <laughs> Please, turn to drink. If you want a goddess, try the barmaid at Yates' Wine Lodge after 16 pints. Come to me, Lord, with me on Saturday. Watch Colin stroking that ball into the back of the goal. You'll see what true love is. <laughs> Give it time, Eric. Go to Greasy Alice's. I fish and chips five times. They put bromide in the vinegar. <laughs> I never want to eat again. Nearly dinner time. Oh, heck! I thought he said he never wanted to eat again. Right, lads, back in the wagon. Winston, get your foot down. Follow that dustman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm meeting a girl off the bus. She doesn't know, mind you. 
but she gets on across the road. So if she comes home to dinner, she'll get off here. I worked that out myself. Oh, she might not, of course, but then again, she might. <laughs> One day you'll have a girlfriend of your own, then you'll know how it's done. Hello? I wondered if you'd like to sit on a throne on a white fluffy cloud. Keep taking the tablets. <laughs> Be breathing, Jay's neck. Girls do anything you tell them to, don't they? All the time. The dirty pigs. Right. Tomorrow morning, you get on that bus with that girl and order her to fall in love with Eric. With Eric? I can't do the impossible. No. Well, now that you've said please. <laughs> Being in love, I thought you said morning then instead of bog off. Eric! <laughs> oh, well. You forgot your cabbage sandwiches? And your bus fare? And one of your socks. Hello? Bog off! <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Did you talk to her? When she gave me a rotten chance. Did you agree? Don't they always? Was it worth it? Is it ever? There's a lipstick on your mush. On me mush? On me mush. It doesn't end there, you know. And that was sitting on top of a bus. If you can be fined five quid for spitting, she must be liable for about ten thousand nicker. <laughs> You're a big hero. You've suffered. You can hold your head up by. I bloody can't. I've got love bites all down my spine. <laughs> anyway, before she got thrown off the bus, I made her write this for him. Geronimo! <laughs> Get your pen mobile, Judas. I think you've got some errors to rectify. Eric! Half an hour to empty one bin. A love letter from the goddess. No! <laughs> Go on, read it. Dear Eric, I think you are super and, and groovy. And will you meet me at dinner time at Greasy Alice's chip shop? I remain yours faithfully. Jennifer Crosdale, bracket the goddess, bracket. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's gonna lay a big in egg. Correction, he's saving his big in bacon. The congregation will now rise and sing. Men of Harlech rise to glory. Che Guevara's voted Tory. <laughs> All I can see is a blur. Hard doth he labour, whosoever is happy in his belly. Confucius. Me. Ah. Uh. Come on, slow coaches, chop, chop. Don't overdo it, Garrick. Your legs will fall off. You'll have to bounce along on your bum. <laughs> Manchester United forever. Again. 
Manchester City forever. Ta. I tell you what, you three do the next street, and I'll do the next four. Whatever turns you on, baby, we're going to have a little siesta. Okay. For the sake of his job, you've given your time, you've given your energy, and I nearly had to give me lousy body. Oh, let's forget him for ten minutes. <laughs> Enjoying yourselves? Why? Who wants to big in no? Well, I jolly well do. As a result of the generosity of our ratepayers, plus the natural evolution of man from primitive ape to cheese and egg, you three are supposed to empty dustbins. If you prefer the, the joys of the Jimmy Young recipe for today, Radio One Club and Woman's Hour, I suggest you all become housewives and mothers instead. <laughs> That's right. According to Ibbotson's stopwatch, Eric finished the entire round by himself while you three sat contemplating your navels. Which means that one of you, if not all of you, is totally redundant. In which case, we get your cards on Friday. All except Eric. What we in the trade call a truly fast worker. <laughs> Why don't you sit here? At the very same table. We are on the very same day. <laughs> yes, correct. Well? Pardon? Are you going to talk? Yes, oh yes, I'm certainly going to talk. Yes, indeed, I'm going to talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and your name's Eric, is it? Pardon? Name. Whose? Yours. What? Eric. So's mine. Oh, <laughs> Me, mine. Bet you said that to all the girls. No. <laughs> And you're a dustman, are you? Pardon? You! What? Oh, forget it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I work at Rydalsh's. We make wigs out of real genuine nylon. <laughs> Doesn't Jackie Kennedy wear smart clothes? Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't go to the moon if you paid me. I think they must be very brave. And what about their wives? Anyway, there's enough to be sorted out on Earth first, like trouble spots and flashpoints and the war in Oxfam or wherever it is. Would you like the vinegar? Mm, I bet you say that to all the girls. Only those eating chips. <laughs> Hello, lad! Get nothing. Get stuffed. Bog off. <laughs> What's the matter? The minty train figures come out or something. Thanks to you, Speedy Gonzalez, one of us is going to get a sack for not working as hard as you. Oh, why don't you? Because we're piggy normal, so <laughs> pig off! But if I can work hard, so can they. But they won't. But they'll get the sack. But not if I can help it. Have I got a pee on me nose? And I can. And I will. And it only costs sixpence. If you said that to all the girls, you'd get your face slapped. <laughs> hey, is anyone eating this lot? You, by the looks of it. <laughs> and what are you doing tonight? 
gruesome. I'm not an easy pick-up, you know. Your place or mine. So we come to the end of another day, Ibbotson. Another day of challenge, opportunity, honest endeavour. Another day in which man has moved a little nearer to answering the eternal question, what am I? Mary? <laughs> I just finished in my report, just signing my name. I've taken all the afternoon over it. You gave me all the requisite information at lunchtime. Ah, oh, but I see a lot more than what I told you. I'll keep my eyes open. I'll look where others would never dream of looking. I got fined ten pounds for it once and seventeen other offences taken into consideration. <laughs> You are. There's a loose page here addressed to cheese and egg. Oh, well. Thanks for the ale. Uh, uh, uh. Dear cheese and egg, if bloody, Deli bloody Delilah puts the screws on you, I know how you can put the screws on him. I have time and motion to him as well over the last two days. And if you can see your way to supply me with a couple of crates of brown ale, you can notify the town hall that he took half an hour for his elevenses, two hours for his dinner, brewed up 14 times, made 15 private phone calls, and fell asleep from 3 o'clock to 4. <laughs> if anyone... Blankety-blank redundant, he is. <laughs> can't we come to some... <clears throat> Never mind, Bernard. Never mind. Perhaps next year you'll get a real efficiency expert in time for the Queen's birthday honours. <laughs> Hibbertson! It's all right, lads. You won't get the sack. I fixed it. Fix what? Ah, uh, wait and see. I made a telephone call on the telephone. Oh, two. Wait and see. I know why you couldn't work as fast as me. Why? Wait and see. Winston, hit him. <laughs> well, I'm always pleased when you lot do it. Sure, sure. There's good and bad in everyone. Come on, dig in. I'm not in love no more. It wasn't she had nail varnish on, although my man warned me about girls like that. It wasn't she ate peas with her knife. No, no. It's just I think she'll get in too serious. <laughs> Bloody hell! Toby Jugs! <laughs> I told you to wait and see. They'll make you work faster. Like you did when we fixed a blind date for you. Right. So that's who you phoned. Right. For us. Right. To take out. Wrong. To sit and watch television with me and me ma'am. And then? Then. You can have one each. Hello. Wake <laughs> up, lads. I think my god you need it. That's what I'm abrist with. The one in Wales.
straw, ma'am. No, ma'am, I won't lift anything heavy, ma'am. <laughs> oh, ma'am, turn the television off. There's nothing on at seven o'clock in the morning. Good morning, Eddie Breathing. Oh, God. Mm. Why are you always so tired after a night in bed? <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm sorry. What the hell are they? Girls. What sort of girls? Gwyneth Alwyn and Bloodwin girls. <laughs> Why, hell? You forgot your jelly babies. And your clean handkerchief. And your beano. <laughs> no. Grow up. And your mum says, don't lift nothing heavy. And don't get your hands dirty. And don't listen to no bad language. Ta-ta. They're my cousins from Everestwith. They're staying at our house for a fortnight, having a week's holiday. Again, <laughs> fortnight's holiday. So... Yeah, well, they're very nice. Stick them on your mantelpiece, they'd make a belting set of Toby jugs. <laughs> We're in for a rough week this week, Gary. Bloody Delilah's got a time and motion expert coming in. Just because the waterworks had one last year and their inspector got an MBE in the New Year's honours, I 